Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here from the Retro Future. Today, we are going to be installing a headphone jack on the Game Boy Advance SP. Now you can, of course, buy an adapter, also known as a dongle, which goes into the charging port for the Game Boy, or you could buy headphones that actually had the charging port end on it, so you can just plug that in instead. But realistically, two things. First one, who wants a dongle? Enough said. Second of all, realistically, you're only going to be able to find these uh, headphones secondhand. And who wants secondhand earphones? N not many people. So I'm going to help you all today with installing a headphone jack. So I picked this up on eBay a bag of a crap ton of little headphone jacks. Now, they cost literally nothing. This was like £1.39 for like 20 of them. So if you buy them from China as well, they're even cheaper. Now, it's important to note you have to buy a headphone jack that has four pins on it. Now, the reason why uh, one of the pins is for the left channel, one is for the right channel, because this is going to be stereo, one is for ground, and then the other pin is going to be used to switch off the speaker. Um, and we'll do all of the soldering, obviously, later, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but what that would have been used for, that fourth pin on this specific headphone jack, is for the microphone. So this actual jack that I've got here would have probably been used in a phone because of some of the headphones you plug into your phone obviously have microphones in them. But obviously, we're not going to need a microphone on this Game Boy, so that pin is going to be repurposed uh, and used to just turn off the speaker. Otherwise, it'd be a pretty crap mod if you're just sat on the bus with headphones yet everyone else can hear it all so now quickly big shout out to Mako who gave me this idea also he's done a lot of the knowledge and I'm just sort of picking up some of that knowledge from his video and uh, repurposing it on my channel but big thank you to him without any further waffle let's go ahead and install this now there's one important thing to note uh, you realistically want to only do this on a Game Boy that has had an IPS screen mod done to it I don't have a Game Boy that's had an IPS screen mod done to it currently uh, because I've sent that away to a friend who's borrowing it. So I'm having to try and do this on an original uh, AGS 101 Game Boy. This is an aftermarket shell, so I'm not going to feel guilty about uh, drilling a hole into it. But yeah, uh, the reason why the IPS one is far better is because the IPS screen is paper thin and you've got loads of room to install it in the top portion of this Game Boy, uh, which is what Mako did in his video, but I do not have, as I said, my IPS Game Boy, so we're going to have to try and do this in a different way. Might be impossible. We'll soon find out. So once you've undone all of the screws, you can go ahead and just wiggle off the bottom piece, like so, and we're going to also remove this motherboard. So now we just need to unplug the ribbon cable. There we go, and we can set that to the side. I have actually seen some people uh, removing this post here, this little screw post, and then putting the headphone jack down there, which is probably what I'm going to try and do. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do, but we'll get on to that bit later on. So this is the schematic that I have drawn, as you can see, I am an engineer. This is not done on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> but you can basically see what, where I need to solder to and the pins that I need to solder those things to. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that first. So the first wire we're going to solder is to the second pin in on the left of the charging port. That wire is then going to go to the pin closest to the opening of the headphone jack. Now tin up the next three points. R out, L out, and C25. On AGS001 boards, that's on the same side as the L and R out. On AGS101 boards, it's on the reverse side. After you've done that, solder a wire to C25 and then to the pin that's on its own. Now solder a wire to R out. This is going to go to the middle pin and L out is going to go to the remaining pin. Thank you. 
I then routed all of the wires out of the way and held them down with some Kapton tape. Now it's time to make room for the new port. Snip out this screw post, or use a Dremel, then drill a hole using a screwdriver, or use a Dremel. I just incremented the thickness of the screwdriver and finished it off with a knife, and it looks absolutely perfect. After that, I glued the headphone jack into place and buttoned the SP back up. You will need to remove this post with a knife or a Dremel in order to help it all close up. I probably need to get a Dremel. Wow, the Game Boy Advance SP in stereo? It sounds so damn good. Oh wait, what's that? You can't hear it. That's because it's playing through my headphones. Oh, but let me just show you that the speaker still works. Everything works absolutely bloody fine. You know what? This, it does not not make sense why Nintendo didn't include this. It's so easy to add a headphone jack. Why didn't they do it? I did read one comment that was like, uh, they couldn't find a place to put it. Uh, hello? Right there. It's not really obtrusive down there. I mean, okay, maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Um, usually maybe I have my fingers at the bottom of the Game Boy, but I can just move them around the back. For the sake of having a headphone jack, I think most people would probably have the fingers anywhere. They'd probably have them back here. <laughs> Super glue, I understand, probably isn't the strongest of adhesives to use. You might want to use like a Gorilla Glue epoxy, two-piece epoxy, uh, but if I'm honest, I'm, I know that I've done this headphone jack and that it's it's not going to be as, um, you know, as solid as like a laptop or a phone or something. Um, and it it's still absolutely fine. The super glue is going to hold up fine for now. Um, it just really does work absolutely as a headphone jack should. There is no reason why it shouldn't have done. Um, obviously, the fact that you soldered it to that pin that specifically deals with when a headphone is plugged in through the charging port, uh, that it will turn off the speaker. So just utilizing, tapping into that pin is gonna make it all work absolutely fine. Left channel, right channel, ground, such simple stuff. There's really not a lot of complexity involved. There's probably gonna be loads of comments saying, oh, you could have done it like this, you could have done it like that, you could have done it like this. It still works, it works absolutely fine for me. It's gonna to continue to work, and if it doesn't, I'll just go back in and resold or something. Um, I'm not selling these, I just wanted to do this for myself because it's nice having a, a headphone jack in your Game Boy Advance SP. Let me know what you think. Um, is there a better way to do this? Probably, I used magnet wire um, because it's a bit more of like a rigid wire that you can flex around and essentially turn it into like a trace. Um, I thought that would probably be a smarter move. It's also really thin. Having wires like regular wires uh, can sometimes be a bit thick, too thick inside, and there's not a lot of room in the inside of this. And especially if you're gonna put the headphone jack up here, you're really gonna want some super thin gauge wire. So I went with magnet wire. You might choose something different. If you wanna charge and use your headphone jack at the same time, you can do that now. You couldn't do that before. Uh, yeah, what else to say? I put a headphone jack and a Game Boy Advance SP. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I know there is things that I could have done better. Using a drill would have been a sensible idea or a Dremel, but I'm really happy with the result. It's it's pretty clean, you know, there's really not too much else a Dremel would have been able to have done that my method didn't do, only maybe make it a tiny little bit cleaner, but hey, look, it works absolutely fine.
So keep your hate comments to yourself. Thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your weekend if it's the weekend. It's almost the weekend here. Stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands, look after yourselves and the family. Stop talking, Elliot, all right? Stop talking.